Okay, let's get to it. Come on and get down to it. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how I stretch. I have years of experience cheerleading, um, so I've been stretching pretty much my whole life. Um, you do need to stay flexible. No, I'm not saying I was the most flexible, but I do enjoy just taking the time out of my day to stretch. Give myself more mobility in my arms, in my legs, in my back. It just feels so good when I stretch. So I'm just going to show you what I do to keep myself limber. We're trying not to be all stiff and rigid when we get older. If you'd like to see my stretching routine, please keep watching and let's get into it. I'm so excited to be recording this. Um, I am starting off the everyday stretching routine with some side bends just to sort of get my body warm. Um, I was really sore this day, so you know, taking it easy. So these are something very easy that everyone can do. I'm then just gonna be doing one squat before I start doing dynamic stretching of lateral lunges. This is literally just to warm up my legs. Again, I was super sore this day, and I like doing this before stretching my legs out. I'm doing every exercise or stretch for about eight counts before moving on to the next one. I did eight of those where I was bending down lower and then just these are a little bit quicker. Same tempo of counts of eight. Now I'm going to be doing some outward hip circles. <laughs> And I'm stretching down. So I just did a stretch on my right leg and then I'm going towards the center and then over towards the left. Just trying to make sure I am generally stretched before moving on to more deeper stretching. So now I'm, I'm going to be in a right lunge, stretching out, you should feel a nice um, pull in your back. And then elbow down, or attempt to have your elbow down, I was really tight this day. And then attempting to grab your back leg, if you cannot reach your back leg, no worries. Just do the stretch without focusing on pulling your back leg. Then go ahead and lean forward. And I'm going back, leaning forward, going pretty much in a reverse of how I got down, and then back up. We're gonna go down towards the middle. This time I'm trying to pull my body through. Um, so you can also grab the back of your ankles like I'm doing here. Now I'm gonna go over towards my left leg. Again, everything is for a count of eight. Or you can just follow along. Down into the lunge. Then we're reaching up high. Again, you should still feel that stretch in your side and back. Might even crack. And then down on our elbows. Grabbing that back foot. Again, if you cannot reach your back foot or is very uncomfortable, do not do it. Then we are leaning forward. You should feel this pull in your hamstring. You might feel it differently depending on if your foot is flexed or pointed. And then we're going back up into the lunge and then going and reversing. Going back down to the middle. Then I'm just going to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Now go ahead and walk your feet in. You can go heel toe heel toe or just take some steps in here I'm turning to the side so you can see my knees I'm gonna be bending 
right, left. Very slowly, but for a count of eight. Now you're gonna bend down and get on your bum. Again, leaning forward. The stretch is similar to when you're standing up, but it does stretch different parts. Well, the stretch feels differently. Now I'm going into the butterfly position, so have your toes and your heels touching each other. Here I'm pressing down on my knees with my elbows. And now I have one foot out. This stretch, I'm really focusing on getting my left hand over my body to reach my right side so that there's a nice stretch. It's not just so flat as going sh as straight as you can to the foot. You really want to get that stretch over on your side. And you switch it. Now we're having both our legs pull out and we are leaning forward in a straddle. If you can, try to get your chest to the ground and try to keep your back straight. If you're not you know, able to go down that far, it's okay. Each day you should get a little better. And then here I'm just slowly leaning up, rolling my neck from side to side. You want this to be as enjoyable as possible. And then I go back down. I really like to do the end of the stretch very slow as then I just feel the muscles relaxing. From here, like I said, I was just slowly getting up and now I'm gonna be doing a middle stretch shuttle. This helps you in your shallow position because you're putting more weight on it versus when you're just on the ground you don't have anything pressing against your legs now we're gonna lay on your back and then you're going to be having your right foot over your left knee and then go ahead and pull it you can have that above the knee or under the back of your thigh wherever you feel the stretch more and you're gonna be feeling it in your right hip as well and then going ahead and switching over to the other side Now I'm just going to be lying here for about a count of an eight before moving on to an additional side stretch. You're going to lift your right leg over your left um, and then you're going to have your right arm hang down. You should feel that right in your back and thigh, the greatest stretch ever. Next you're going to move back over and extend your left knee over your right leg and have your left arm hang. Again, you'll be feeling the stretch in the same place before finishing it out. Now I'm just laying out and you can rest here for as long as you'd like, but that's going to be the end of this stretching routine. I hope that you enjoyed it. got some value out of that stretching routine. I really enjoy stretching almost daily to make sure that I stay limber and mobile, especially because I work at a desk all day, so I want to make sure that I am still using my body in the ways that it was intended to be used. If you got any value out of this stretching routine, please let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It really does help me out. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.